Hello and welcome to Behind the Visor from here in Mexico City. We're in the Forosol baseball stadium where the track goes. It's really cool. Uh, before we get underway, just uh, a shout out to everyone at Envision with the health issues going on over there at the moment. You know, our, our, our thoughts are with you. But now we are on to our questions. And our first question from Jack Pico, who's been asking this question for months. We've been ignoring him for months, but we're finally going to ask it. Uh, I'm just going to keep asking until you reply. Here we go. To all three of you, what is your karaoke song of choice? Ooh, tequila. What? Song? Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's only one word. <laughs> 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 okay, so give us a little... Da, 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 da. Tequila. Very good. Exactly. Very good. That's it. That's it, Sam. I reckon mine after my performance in Toronto after the film festival has to be Mariah Carey. Heartbreaker. So, oh, so you've done this in karaoke? My wife will confirm that me and Mariah Carey and a few... You and, and a Mariah few, Carey? No. Oh, okay. No, in Toronto, after a couple of gin and tonics, all of a sudden, I was the greatest dancer in the world and singer in the world when, uh, when Mariah Carey came on. I'm not singing it. Fair enough. Unless someone gets me a gin and tonic. How about a margarita? How about tequila? <laughs> <laughs> How about... Tequila. Yeah, there we go. I don't really, I don't really, I think I have one. I did, I was in America the other week and I ended up doing one um, by Garth Brooks called Friends in Low Places, a country song. Oh, wow, Never okay. Heard Never heard of it. You won't have done. He's a big deal, Garth Brooks. I think he sold more records than the Beatles or something. No. No, genuinely, I think this might be true. Or only the Beatles and Michael Jackson have sold more. Something like that. Is this true? Yeah, he's one of the biggest selling artists we'll in the world. We'll have to check that out. We will this see is from this an unconfirmed here now, source. or not. Yeah. We don't know whether that's correct. Please yeah. check out. So we're either getting a flashing yeah. true or a flashing false. Yeah. Yeah. And, then a, and then a little bracket of the actual fact. Hashtag who is Garth Brooks. Uh, this is from Bobby Driver. That is a name. That is a name. They're all names. Bobby Driver. Oh, like a good name. Okay. It's a name, yeah, like Scott Speed. Oh, Bobby yeah. Driver. Awesome. I wish my name was Bobby Driver. I think I'd be quicker. That's two tenths right there. <laughs> what would your dream name be? I like Scott Speed. Yeah. Scott name, Speed, yeah, Will Power, really cool Bobby name. Driver. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Absolutely cool. brilliant. And on the poll today is Bobby Driver. <laughs> Bobby Driver is a hardcore F1 fan. Of course he is. Can you give me three reasons why I should switch to Formula E? Because it's not boring? Because it's 45 minutes of absolute, of absolute action and Formula One doesn't quite have the same amount of action. The thing with Formula One is that only six cars can win, basically. And Formula E, if you are, let's say, P13 or start P13, you can still win the race. Hi guys, I'm a long time fan, but don't have a question this time. But Great. a huge ask, if you guys could give a shout out to Lizzie as she absolutely loves watching behind the visor. Lizzie. Hello, Lizzie. Hi, Lizzie. Say hi to Lizzie. Hi, Lizzie. What Disney character best represents you? Actually, you're, I've, I know yours. Go on, then. Gaston from uh, Beauty and the Beast. Gast Gaston. Yeah. Which one is that again? Like a shorter Gaston. Which one is Gaston again? You use your microphone, weren't you? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Um, we haven't been doing this very long, have we? Gaston, that's really... Thank you very much. I don't know, because you're just a bit hench and... Oh, mate, well, you thank know? you. Yeah, basically like a... I can imagine you... A cartoon Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, I, exactly. Who's Gaston? Guy? In Beauty and the Beast. I've peaked. He's, the, he's the, like the baddie. It's really. not going to get any better now. That's the biggest compliment. Luke Evans played, played him in the, in the movie movie. He's the one who chucks six eggs up in the air and just goes like... Oh. Yeah, I still don't know now. Okay. Have you seen Beauty and the Beast? No. Well then, how? Well then, <laughs> have Pixar or Disney done a sloth yet? Oh, um, yes, 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 yes. yes. What in is that in? Zootopia. Zootopia with the one when he's doing the forms. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm he's not following this conversation. Yes. Uh, what when he's what laughing. Is this? Uh. <laughs> we, need, uh. <laughs> we need to look this up uh. later because I don't know. Uh. What, what about you? Um, Zazu. Zazu from yes. The Lion King. Really good. Is that the bird? Yes. And voiced by Rowan Atkinson, who is my favourite actor of all time. Yeah. So there we go. That all ties together neatly. What is the worst Valentine's Day gift you've ever received? Probably when you've got nothing as a school kid. Like there'd be all the cool, there'd be all the cool kids, and you'd you'd get letters, anonymous letters, and and I'd be there in the class, I'd get nothing. Were you not a? Were you not a? a no, I'm a late bloomer. Oh really? I'm a late bloomer. Yeah, I'm an ugly duckling that turned into a swan late in life. I can see that. Like can we stick up a picture of his Formula BMW days? Thank oh. you. <laughs> that was what? Shocking. That, that, that was what? No. 2000? 
2004-2005. Man, I was selling go cars back in the day. <laughs> Are you doing anything for your lady? Well, I can't really say. It, Valentine's Day will have happened by the time this goes up. Oh. Or will be during it. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then yeah. Oh, you've, you've got something planned from afar. Yeah. Whoa, bird. All sorted, mate. It's under control. Bird did good. On the theme of Valentine's Day, Jago has made a card for Sam and Robin to give to each other and wants to know what you think. It's called, You're the Zwan That I Want. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> look at oh, that. Oh, this, is, yes. this is great. Yes. So, oh my God. You're the Zwan That I Want. <laughs> You're the Zwan That I Want. That is super. With Antonio. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Antonio. He's Tony. He's jealous. He look, he's, he's looking jealous. jealous. Yeah. Happy yeah. Valentine's Day, mate. Happy Valentine's Day, man. Right, now finally, Alberto Longo was on last time out and everybody's been saying, you've got to have Antonio Felix de Costa on. He still can't be bothered to come on the show, but he has sent this video message, okay? Oh, this is new for me. So Robin, this is not actually a question. It's more, I just want you to speak about this. Uh, you know that time where I was on the autograph session in Zolder and you rocked up in your road car? So first of all, talk about your road car. <laughs> Second of all, you have to explain how late you were and what result you got after that. Cheers, man. Firstly, clearly that is not DaCosta somewhere in the paddock. Where is he? That's an, do you know where he was? That's an amazing place. Yeah, he lives an exotic life. Unbelievable. But here we go then. So yeah, talk about I, your... I well, yeah. yeah, yeah. What's so, he talking about? So we were doing both GT3 Lot Pass Sprint that weekend. I think the autograph session started at, I don't know, 10.30 in the morning or something. Way too early. Exactly. And I slept at home because it's only a half hour drive uh, to Zolder. So I came up with the uh, R8 I had back in the day then, blue one. And the autograph session was already ongoing when I just drove past everyone. <laughs> well, <laughs> every, everyone was sitting behind the desk doing the autograph session. I just drove by with the window down. <laughs> and they were all looking at me like, what the hell? <laughs> so were you in, was there an empty seat where you should have been sitting? No, I parked the car in front of the truck, my truck. Yeah. And uh, obviously I was quite a bit late. Jumped in the car, won the race. <laughs> That is, that, was, that is Robin to a T. Yeah, that's classy. That's classy. That brings to an end the seemingly Valentine's Day edition of Behind the Visor from Mexico City. Uh, if you want to ask a question, hashtag Behind the Visor, they might answer it. They might not. So apparently during that whole thing, I never pointed out that Sam's wearing a poncho. Sam's wearing a poncho. Poncho. Where's it from? Mexico City. I bought it yesterday. Uh, I haggled it from uh, £10 to £8 I did well. <laughs>